put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. If the video is too long for you, I have recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. The Butterfly Effect Mood Review Kutcher, who does okay, in part because he, as another character puts it, is kind of a wise-ass and he's clearly more comfortable in those scenes than in the more emotional ones. Anyway, he stars as Evan, a 20-year-old college student, and Amy Smart plays his childhood sweetheart, Kaylee. Will William Lee Scott plays her sadistic brother, and Eldon Henson plays a bullied and sensitive, very vulnerable neighbor, Lenny. And Evan realizes that he can go back in time and inhabit his younger self. And basically, just in those situations, he can do something very different, you know, once or twice in, you know, as his past self. And, you know, these are, excuse me, these are defining moments, both, you know, even without him changing anything. And yeah, they, they tend to be these traumatic experiences he had as a child. And they're basically blackouts. He has stress induced memory loss or had as a child. And once he realizes he can change the past, he tries to fix the lives of yeah, these, you know, himself and the other three protagonists. And it doesn't turn out quite how he hoped. The, yeah, some, some things go wrong and such. Now, the consequences are really only for these four, you know, major characters. It's not, you know, the entire country, and that makes it more focused then, you know, yeah, it's it's very much character exploration of these four major characters and a couple of the supporting ones as well, rather than, you know, this is, you know, the, the butterfly effect is, you know, that part of chaos theory with the, the flapping of a butterfly's wings can theoretically cause a, you know, don't remember exactly what it, but you know, a major natural disaster halfway across the world. You know, it is this thing of huge changes from small alterations, and yeah, that that idea. Often, it is the entire world. You know, someone goes back in time to do something good. You know, comes back into the the present. World War Three has erupted. Nothing like that happens here. It is purely these people's lives and yeah that allows for really solid exploration you know you see these characters in very different incarnations now and the you know we have these flashbacks to when they were seven and when they were 13 and the casting and acting is solid throughout and yeah you know you've got Cameron Bright in there which is always in my mind always a positive and yeah they just they they look the part you believe them and yeah you believe these very different versions of them now the and and you know first the movie shows us what Evan experienced as a child so when you have these really defining moments the first time you see them you know he suddenly has a blackout and you see something that happened you know maybe minutes later or so and he can't remember what happened and you know you can maybe you know kind of figure out what you know you you see the aftermath you see what the result was 
but you don't know how it got there and what exactly happened in those minutes that it skipped. And the Evan is very protective of Kaylee. There's this running thing of him covering her ears from something loud, scary, offensive. And he initially goes back to help her. Now, there are a number of time jumps in this, which really keep you, you know, keep you guessing what the next outcome will be, keep you, you know, really paying attention so you don't miss anything. And the various present day scenarios we see, and even some of the flashbacks, once, you know, let's say he goes back to the very first blackout and changes something. Every flashback that he, you know, every blackout that he then revisits, things will have changed because these are defining moments. And yeah, each of these are very distinct and vignettes, and they they make sense as you know with what has happened in between. And the the writers took great care to ensure everything made sense and much of the way it worked out. There's a lot of great detail to, you know, past and present, different incarnations of them, and there are these hints of what could happen, you know, with some of these characters, and they're followed up on. These, you know, you might not even notice it at first, but then, you know, when you see later, that's how this character got there. And this is another in my series of reviews, which is of a movie I watched, I first watched years ago, that really made an impression on me, that I've seen many, many times since, and that I love. Although in this case, I will admit, the movie does have problems. It's somewhat of a guilty pleasure of mine. And that I own a copy of. I have not watched the sequels, nor do I intend to. I am reviewing the director's cut, which is, you know, I greatly prefer that to the theatrical cut. It really embraces how much of a tragedy it is. And you can tell some of this stuff really would not have played well on the big screen. There is some yeah now it especially affects the ending and I tend to find that people who hate the ending they saw the theatrical one and or the alternate ones and yeah the director's cut ending is the only one that really just it's, it's easily the best one and it's very clear that the theatrical one and the alternate ones, they were asked to do those. You know, it wasn't something that the the team behind it really wanted. Now, this is a really compelling and stimulating film. It's a psychological thriller drama with plot twists. Some have said this is style over substance. It's definitely stylistic. I disagree that, the, I'd say there's a lot of substance as well. And for a budget film, this looks great. And certainly there is a lot of cruelty on screen. There are not a lot of really ugly events of abuse and cruelty. And yeah, some of it is gratuitous. It, it doesn't necessarily follow up on in detail what happened. Only, you know, at most, it's to these four major characters, and yeah, it ends up being exploitative. There are some plot holes and inconsistencies in the time travel, and a lot of people say this is a great idea, poorly executed. I would say the execution is really good as well. And this was one of the most widely read and unproduced scripts for years in, you know, within this medium. And it was only when Kutcher stepped up to also executive produce that it got greenlit. 
now. It has been noted that the time travel ability isn't really explained. You know, it's, we know how it works, but we don't know why it's there. We do, we do get some history on it, but not an explanation. This was a passion, passion project for the two writer-directors who also did the script for Final Destination 2, which, yeah, I, I don't like that movie. I've only watched the first two, and with how bad the second was, I didn't watch any further. It's, it's also just the kind of movie that really... You only get one really good movie out, but I, I do quite like the first Final Destination. Now, part of this was... You know, part of what they were trying to do with this was they wanted to go further than anyone had before and that anyone expected. And that does translate into some of the gratuitous and exploitative material. And they also record an awesome commentary track. It's right up there with the Aliens one, which features Michael Bean, James Cameron, B. Pax, Lance Henriksen, really badass. And Evan's last name is Triborn, you know, as in Event Reborn. At first they were going to call him Chris, but then they realized that's just too dumb. There's a bit of a color theme in this, and this really does scream for an adventure slash RPG game with, you know, this concept of tra traveling back in time you know, altering, changing something, and then when you t return to the present, you have to figure out what has changed, and, you know, maybe you slowly fix, you know, fix someone's life, or solve some kind of, you know, mystery, you know, somewhat a la frequency. Yeah, that, that really, I don't know if that exists, but it really needs to. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.